Welcome to Vita's World. I'm Vita, and you're watching The Beta Diaries. Today, we're gonna learn about mystery snails, how to tell when they're dead, and one very important thing to keeping them alive. Let's dive in. This is Lady, a white shell mystery snail and soon-to-be mom. As you can see, she's not used to these rocks, cause she used to live in a tank with much larger gravel. We'll come back to her later, but for now, we're gonna learn how to tell when a snail dies. This is Claire. She hadn't been moving, and I was worried she was dead. To check if a snail is dead, you gently press on their body inside the shell and see if it retracts. She wasn't retracting like usual, so I decided to do a second check by putting her back in her tank and seeing if she would move. This is Momo. It wasn't doing very well either, so I decided to do a two-step check on it as well. The second step may seem obvious, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't throw the snail away unless it was truly dead. To my surprise, I later saw Claire had climbed all the way to the top of her tank. Mumu was not looking as well. I left it for a little bit longer though. And I'm glad I did so, cause it turns out, it was just slowly waking up from its nap. I decided to observe and record my snails in and out of water, to show that snails may be acting weird, but are still healthy. I learned that snails sleep like this overnight, so I shouldn't be too worried if I see them like this in the morning. Bigger snails' bodies may not entirely fit into their shell, so you may see their squishy body bulging out. This is completely normal. When you are checking your snail above the water, you should make sure that its body isn't hanging limply out or sucking all the way in. I'm sorry I didn't have any dead snail examples, but I'm glad all my snails are alive. I did have one worry though, and that was this hole I found on Mumu. After some research I probably should have done a while ago, I learned that snails need calcium. Calcium is essential for shell growth and their general health. If you can't find calcium in your local pet store, you can use hard-boiled eggshells. You'll first need to separate the membrane from the shell. You can place the shells directly into the aquarium to add calcium to the water. The membrane can be fed as snacks, but should be done so sparingly. You should note that adding calcium will spike your pH, so you should be prepared to adjust accordingly. Next week on the Mystery Snail series... 